What's up, YouTube? This is Thoughtsis82, and we're back for more Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Let's go. You gonna... <laughs> Are you gonna let her sleep in your bed? <laughs> As I opened my eyes, I realized I'd fallen asleep without realizing it. But more important... Did I hear... The doorbell? <sighs> All right, door. Kyoko? Hey. I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Why aren't we just going together so that there's no confusion again? Uh, hey, wait! Kyoko! Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the darkened hallway. <laughs> I don't know, I guess at least bring the knife with you or something. I know we're not supposed to go out during nighttime, but... I can't just not go. You totally could. That is also an option, believe it or not. Hey. Sorry for asking you to meet me meet with me so late. It's okay, I'm used to it. Correct. Indeed. So then. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? So does this mean does this have something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? Indeed. That's right. So I was right. But what did you steal? So... I stole this. A key? Well, looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the one only key of its kind on Earth. I want to make you. I want to make you so bad. All right. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. Where did you get this? So... From the Headmaster's room. What? You snuck into the Headmaster's room? But wasn't it locked? However... The lock was broken. What? Correct. It was Sakura. She did it for us. She did? Indeed. Remember what she said in her note? I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight for you. Oh, fight you. So, Sakura broke into the Headmaster's room for us? That's right. So that we could uncover whatever secrets might lay hidden within. She did that. For us. The people who hit her twice in the freaking head. She violated the school regulations to help us. She'd already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. Indeed. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday. But if I just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away. Which is why I used you as a decoy. <laughs> I knew it. So you asked me to meet you at the data center in order to... Correct. Correct. I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took that opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room. And as a result, I found this key. Wow. Then, what you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Did you find out about this Mukuro Ikusaba while you were in there? Indeed. I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but one thing I do know is that Mukuru Ikusaba is dangerous. Dangerous? In other words, she may very well be the mastermind. Mastermind? But didn't Alter Ego say that the headmaster was probably the mastermind? Wrong. No, that headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof, 
That's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Mukuro Kusaba really could be the mastermind? Anyway, this key is the one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it. That's a hard word to say fast. Now that we've grasped it while being, like, while enunciating, that's really hard. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what's this key even unlock? I don't know yet, which is why I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again while I go and find out. Okay, question. Why would he follow the harmless mm, Makoto instead of the troublemaker Kyoko? That doesn't make sense at all. Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't. That's way too dangerous. And you want me to draw his attention, but we don't actually know there's just one mastermind, right? That's true also. That's also true. If there's more than one person watching us, which of course there's like a bazillion cameras in this place. Is that right? But they didn't catch on last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky. Hey. Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. And if we're successful again, then what may have just been a lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. Hey. If it's true that the mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there would have to be a period of time where the mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true, and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but no matter what the reward, the risk is just too high. When I think what might happen if we fail... Why is that? I don't think you need to worry all that much. After all, with minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery. Am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. But if the mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. He could just kill us all without a second thought. I see. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove that hypothesis. What? Correct. In a moment of crisis, will the Mastermind break their own rules, or adhere to them no matter what? In other words... We gain something whether we succeed or not. Now there's no reason not to do it, right? But... If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. Mm. We know the danger. But if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Seriously, just walking around the place and trying the windows isn't working. Hey. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized. I had never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead, the enemy standing before us. And with that in view, she just smiled. <laughs> I can't change how I feel. And I wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Huh? What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to- Perfect. Perfect! You just nailed your own coffin, chick. If something happens- how am I going to solve your murder? I, I'm not good at that crap. I can't touch your dead body like you can touch other people's. I can't do it. Now we're screwed. However, I'm not planning on dying. 
but there's always a chance of it, and a death without meaning is unappealing. Hey. Please, I, I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine, I I'll hold on to it, just because you asked me to. But I'm gonna give it back at some point. You can be sure of that. Indeed. Yes, of course. Hey. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, because then there's a chance the Mastermind might find out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that too. Huh? You mean there's something else? Well... It's nothing. Uh, forget I said anything. I, I can't just forget that easily. So then... Okay then, shall we begin? Makoto. I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll, I'll give it my best shot. Goodbye. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. No. Everything's going to be fine. I know it. Because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety. And then I got to work. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out here. I've got a bone to pick with you. Then, a few minutes later... Monokuma appears! Well, well, this is a surprise. You being the one to call me out? Hey, hey! By the way... Huh? Most suspicious. What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse? Just the two of you? In the middle of the night? Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet. So wet and warm. I bet you guys... Removes to conform with local and international censorship laws. <laughs> All over her, didn't you? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my. <laughs> Not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever. Unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. I'm surprised. <laughs> because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation, far away from X rated exploits. Oh, so is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Wow. Bullseye! Or is it maybe because. The lens gets all fogged up, and you can't see anything anyway? Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. <laughs> you need something? Anyway, you went to all that trouble to get me out here. Now what do you want? Oh, well, uh... <coughs> Ooh, <coughs> my back hurts. Mm. Oh, <coughs> I'm losing my voice. <coughs> There's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Say what? Whether I'm a mademoiselle or a dude fella? Actually. But in the Bear Kingdom, there is no male or female. That feels not true. Um, actually, there is. What? Seriously? My entire existence! Hmm. This is kind of depressing. That's enough. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. So what did you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but... Is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? Unbelievable. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be 100 megaton freaking kidding me. You're not gonna ask something useful, like how to get the best honey, or ursine breeding tips. What the heck is an ursine? Ursine? 
This is just crazy. Are all pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? What the heck? Gosh, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key. And beep. That's it. What was that second thing? It's a blank, stupid. A secret. Fill it in yourself. Making me trudge all the way out here for that. I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. No, you don't. And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open up your skull and find out. Copy more than a few swear words. Monokuma stormed off. Phew. I don't think that was long enough to be distracting him. You could have totally distracted him for longer. I hope I kept him distracted long enough. Ha ha. <laughs> Get out my mind. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. Oh, she'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, she'll, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko, after all. I'm sure she's fine. Right? Oh, boy. I went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, you guys, for Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Y'all have a great weekend. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.